part of site design is looking at the vehicle movement through your project and seeing changes need to be made. SiteOp has a tool, so if we're looking at this intersection, called Vehicle Path Route, which allows me to create a line along a path. Once I've created that line, I can then go in to the templates where it's pre-populated with Ashto vehicles. And you can always create your own and save them, such as we're going to do a WB62. You can see I can modify different pieces of it for my client's request. I can even add additional trailer pieces and save them as I need to for future use. Hit apply. And at this point, we're going to notice any issues. In this case, the truck cannot get around the corner. So let's go back and make a simple change on the radius returns. Take one to 50 feet, and we still have an issue. So now at this point, I may want to look at widening the road a little bit with some tapers. We're going to add a point to the main roadway that we need to adjust. Go in, give it a width, let's say 32 feet, and we're done. We now see that the vehicle fits, but there's a little bit of wasted asphalt right at the end where it ties from the wider section to the narrow section. Let's go in and let's put a taper to that. Let's say 75 feet. So within roughly one minute, we're able to analyze an intersection, go in, make it work, and now put vehicle representation. So as I take this out to my CAD program, I can show the client that yes, this intersection does work and vehicles can move through it.